hard out here. It's hard out here. 2020 really didn't come to play games. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you're all okay. Hope you're keeping safe. I've just come on here essentially to give you guys a quick life update and let you guys know like where I'm at because it's been a good what month since I've uploaded my last video. Um, I know some people have been wondering like where my content is, <laughs> why I'm not putting anything out. Um, and quite frankly, I've been um quite quiet on, on all forms of social media apart from snapchat where i put up like what i'm doing like day to day essentially but in terms of like content creation and stuff um i've been on the dl on the down low i would say and yeah i just thought i'd come and share with you guys the reason behind that and essentially the reason is <laughs> drum roll please 2020 2020 that's the reason now comment down below if you know exactly what i mean when i say that 2020 is the reason this is one lonsdale show of a year bruv can go straight in the bin when it's done i swear down you see this 2020 yeah no but you know what the funny thing about me and this year is that for me personally it started off okay even like up to about halfway through the year i was like do you know what 2020 hasn't really had a net negative effect on me do you know what i mean there's been ups there's been downs but they've all kind of cancelled each other out all in all i could have said 2020 was a cool year up until august and then 2020 said you thought and slapped me in the face basically my mental went left and do you know what I did? I just thought that maybe, do you know what, because of lockdown and whatnot, I need a change of scenery. Maybe that's gonna boost me mentally and I'm gonna be okay after that. So that's when you you guys see my last vlog that I went to Germany to visit my babes, Melissa. That was me trying to gather up the scraps of my mental health. And I went, I had loads of fun as you guys saw in the vlog. It was a great time. If you haven't watched the vlog, check it out. And then, when I came back here, yeah, I was expecting everything to be great. Did anything change? My, from there on, my mental health really just kept on a downward trend. And this is how <laughs> it's been going, essentially. Um, side note, what I didn't mention is that what didn't help either was all the injustices around the world that were being shown on social media. Like, sometimes I would just sit down and just think and wonder and be like, what is going on? First of all, why is this all happening at the same time? Second of all, why is the world even like this? Like, why are people like this? Why are humans like this? Like, how can I be happy or work towards anything meaningful if this is all it's gonna go to? All these, like, deep questions, I'll just sit down and thought and just wonder when i get overwhelmed by things this is the thing about me i don't vocalize it all and put it out there i sort of recluse into my own little corner and internalize every small little thing and i don't really speak to many people about it either if anyone and it's just been kind of hard and that's why you guys haven't really heard much from me i've just been figuring out how to deal with it all and i kind of feel like it's definitely caused me to fall off of a lot of um the things that i've been on track with the only thing really actually that has stayed consistent is my education because that's one thing that's hardwired in my brain that i just know i cannot compromise do you know what i mean if i don't put in the work i know if I don't put in the work, I know I'm not going to reap the benefits. But where it hasn't been that, pretty much everything in my life, <sighs> I've sort of lost my sense of purpose, my sense, my drive, all enough spiritually in terms of like my prayer, prayer life, spending time with God. And even people that are close to me, that have tried to like reach out to me, will know that I haven't really been myself lately. Um, even from you guys' side, maybe, like, if you haven't necessarily been in contact with me, but you have me, like, on social media, you can see that my activity has been minimal. But you know the thing is, guys, I have been filming, actually, in the past few months, I have about five or six videos lined up for you guys that I have been wanting to upload and put out. So the content is there. It's not that I've, ne like, I've completely neglected it. It's just about, like, sitting down, um... And editing these videos to put out for you guys but again what's been missing on my side is the vision the drive the sense of purpose 
um, as I said, I've just kind of lost it. And um, right now, I'm in a hotel room. Actually, let me show you guys um, what the room looks like. So this is what it looked like when I walked in. It's a really beautiful room, as you guys can see. But essentially, I'm here on a solo retreat. What I'm trying to get out of this time really is to just realign my thoughts, realign my life and just get back on track of everything. Especially YouTube. Oh my gosh, I miss, I just miss it so much. Like, I'm, I'm trying to use this retreat really to spend more time with God, spend time in prayer, spend time just being still you know, and just organising myself to start walking in my purpose again, as I was doing <laughs> towards the beginning of the year. I just want to get back on track, so anyway, I didn't want to talk too much or make this video too long, just a quick update as to where I am, where I have been, why I've been quiet, that's the reason, guys, so, um... If anybody has had a similar sort of experience or 2020 has like gone you in a mad place as well, maybe mentally or in any other kind of aspect, if you're comfortable to comment down below, let's get a chat going about it. Maybe we can support each other through this, give each other some encouraging advice, etc. But really, um, the essence of this all is just that I'm, I've been taking time out and even this solo retreat today i'm taking the time to sort of just feed myself like spiritually mentally with the things that i need the fuel that i need to be able to start the engine back up again and get things moving so yeah that's what i wanted you guys to know really thank you guys all for your patience thank you for standing with me and like i said the content is lined up guys it's coming and that is from a range of like med school related videos to vlogs lifestyle vlogs i just need to get on to editing so yeah it's a lot to look forward to but for now a sister's trying to get herself back together you know what i'm saying so stay tuned i appreciate you all and see you very soon in my upcoming videos